Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, a little bit different, we're jumping into my dad's T6. He's turning into a bit of a camper. It's a Volkswagen 4Motion DSG. He's turning into a bit of a camper. He's got a pop top and stuff to go on later, but he's done a few bits on the inside. But this episode, we're focusing on the diff. He, being a camper, he wants to go, a bit, he wants to go everywhere. He wants to put a locker in the rear diff but because of the way the, the vehicle works and uh, all the loom would have to change the ECU and everything else so he's done a little bit of a uh, unconventional mod to make it mechanical rather than vacuum actuated which would be the way the factory would do it so I'm just gonna go through everything that he's done we've also got some footage of it going in and him explaining what he's doing but I'll show you the vehicle first so it's just a nice clean white T6 and I can't get enough angle but I'll jump around the other side and have a look so as you can see nice clean it's just a two-seater because in the back he's got a bit of a camper setup so into the interior we have cupboard here lots of lots of space for everything it's all removable so dad being dad he wants to carry stuff he's actually in a couple of days going to pick up a motorbike so this stuff actually pulls out pretty quick and it just turns into a normal van again which is the way he wants it he wants it multi-use not just a camper like some people would set it up so yeah a few shelves in here he's got a few other bits and pieces he's gonna put a water tank on on the back here and a little shelf for phones and stuff but yeah everything is just really usable so he's got all the cupboards down the bottom here I'll I'll put a link into to what he's used just in case anyone wants to do the same but he reckons in 20 minutes he can pull it all out and it's yeah ready to be just used as a normal transporter again let's uh, let's check out the rest of the vehicle um, and then we'll go over what we're gonna get into so it's just a nice Volkswagen T6 uh, full motion TDI it's yeah really nice van really nice and clean that's put his own personal touches on it, a bit, of, a bit of blue down the bottom and the interior as I was just showing we're gonna get into this episode we're going to change the diff so he wants to take it everywhere and he wants to put a diff locker in it but from everything we've been looking at and reading you can't put a diff locker in without having any of the vacuum system and stuff like that so he's come up with a way to put the lockable diff in it but make it manual rather than actuated because the actuated this is so much connections and wiring and uh, little actuators and stuff to make it work off just pressing it on the dash so to not play with ecus and wiring and everything else which from what we can work out would have to be like a crazy amount of like dash would have to like all that dash wiring would have to change and stuff because it doesn't seem like it would just they would keep it in the loom so He's done a manual one. So I hope this will help anybody else because from what he was saying, lots of people want to do this because everyone wants to take their camper out and be able to lock up their diff and get out of anywhere. So there's lots of footage coming of him and of, of how to do it. But I just thought I'd show you the rest of the vehicle now. So yeah, he's done a lot of, he's done a lot of little bits here and there and cleaned it up and yeah, nice clean auto DSG Volkswagen T6 that he takes camping. Yeah, nice clean car. He's also done a bit of a lift. He's got a 50 mil lift on the front of here, and he's also got some uh, some all-terrain tires to go on here. Being four motion makes it nice and easy. Perfect for getting away on the weekend. So let's jump into the diff. So I can't really show you much at the back. Just it's going to look like a vehicle. But so let's jump into some footage of him getting into it, and then I'll jump back to the finished product, and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the car up on the hoist. I've got the diff taken out, which is not too big a job. A um, few bolts here and there, take the drive shafts off, then drop it down. So here's the diff, uh, it's still in the cradle. I've got to swap the cradle over, and I've got to swap the wiring over. The wire from the Halidex around to here, because the one on the uh, one with the diff lock, it's got the extra cabling and everything, so rather than leave that on there, I'm going to use the original cable off my vehicle. So now I've got to swap the diff over and put it back in and hook it all up. Right here, here we have the uh, diff out of another T6. This one's got uh, the diff lock, which is this actuator here. What I'm gonna do is remove this actuator and put on a cable operated attachment. 
I'll show you that in the next shot. This is vacuum operated and to put all the vacuum operated stuff into my T6 would have been a lot of work so I've gone for a cable operated diff lock. So here we have the vacuum actuator removed. Now I'm just going to hook up to this thread here which is a 4mm. Just going to put a little fittings and a couple of bits and pieces on here, bolt onto here, a bracket to carry it all. I'll show you in the next shot. Here we have all the cable operated attachments. So cable comes from the cabin, comes down here, pulls on the lever and that locks in the diff lock. Spring returns it when you push the cable back in, returns back to neutral, which is without a diff lock. So nice and simple, just pull the cable, in it goes, drive until you need your diff lock released, then release the lever, out it comes. Oh right, yeah, here's where I'm going to put my switch. So the cable's going to go on the top of there. That goes through the floor. And then just drop that onto there. And that's where your pull lever will be for the diff lock. Oh right, yeah, here's where the cable comes through the floor. Just got it mounted through the floor there. Comes along. Under the shielding near the um, handbrake cable. And it'll just follow the handbrake cable all the way along, back to the diff. Well, here you can see I've taken the tail shaft down, so I can route that cable around the shielding, and then I'm going to hook it onto the handbrake cable all the way down to the diff. So here's the diff back in the cradle, and I've swapped over my electrical cable that runs around to the hull decks. Now I've got to uh, hook up my cable here for the diff lock. So I'm going to lift it up onto the gearbox uh, jack, hook up the cable and then mount the diff into the car. Alright, here we are with the diff on the diff jack. And uh, just about to install it. I've um, connected up the wiring, or the actuator. I've checked it a couple of times, it all seems to be working nicely, really happy with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the diff. See how that goes, I've been up the top, all happy. There we go, we've got the diff centre back in. Uh, we've got to hook up uh, the drive shafts on each side, one over there, um, tail shaft, we've got the breather lines, electrical, and bits and pieces. And then we'll see what we're up to then, I think pretty much a test drive after that. I'm going to put the sway bar back in because I had to take it out of the way to get the gearbox, oh, the differential out. Um, that's about it. Talk soon. Okay, guys, it's all done. So, Dad took off. He did all the swap at his house because he's got a hoist and whatnot, and I don't have that here, so it wasn't worth me trying to do it. And it's done. He's done a fantastic job, as you would have just watched, and it all works really well. So, as he was saying, as you pull the little choke cable I'll show you in a second you have to like have the car rolling a little bit so they like it locks in otherwise you could damage some stuff so I can't really show you underneath I'll show you now but you can't really see much it's just a diff and underneath it doesn't really show you anything because it's all trapped up and under there and the only difference is here I'll put the two photos up of the actuated diff and then the normal diff it just doesn't have that little bracket coming off the side which is what we want so jumping into the interior everything else is pretty much the same but we have this little fella down here so as you, as you would have seen in the videos it's just a little choke cable he's put on and as he said he said you pull it up and twist it oh, that way and it locks in but you want to be moving a little bit so that it locks in and make sure you like it locks in properly rather than it not and grinding and all that kind of stuff which is what we don't want but yeah nice and easy simple um come on nice simple and easy which makes it perfect for anyone who wants to do the same swap there seems to be a lots of crash vans out there with the lockable rear diff and this should hopefully help anybody who wants to do it so any questions just send them through and i'll i'll get some more answers for you but i think this should show everybody what's going on and yeah enjoy thanks guys i'll talk to you soon